Welcome back to another video. I'm Chef Devo, and today I'm going to teach you a very simple way to make a katsuramuki cut. This is a Japanese cutting technique where you take something like a vegetable, like a daikon or a cucumber, and you cut it into a very thin sheet like this, paper thin. And this is used for a lot of uh, Japanese recipes. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's super difficult to make. It takes hours and hours of practice to make. It's very difficult to cut. Here's a little clip of what it looks like when you're doing it. And basically, I'm gonna show you a technique today that's very, very simple. And instead of taking hours to master, you can master this in five to 10 minutes. Now, the finished product won't be as amazing as this super thin sheet here, but it's still a usable thing that you can use in your recipes to make what you need to do with katsuramuki cut. So, let's get straight into it, let's get going. Okay, to start off, you're gonna need a big tea towel, you're gonna place it on your workbench, and then you want to wet it with some water. You do this so that the tea towel sticks to the work surface and it doesn't slide around when you're doing the cutting. Now you wanna take two metal skewers and just place them parallel to each other at whatever the width of whatever you're cutting. And then you place your cucumber or daikon here like this, and you just want to slide your knife up and down vertically as you roll the cucumber along, applying equal and even pressure to get a nice and beautiful even cut. Now this is a very simple technique to learn, as I said, you can learn this in five to 10 minutes easily, as long as you have a nice, straight, sharp knife. Now here we're reaching the end of the cucumber, the seed core, this you just want to remove and dispose of. And then there we go, we've got a beautiful sheet of cucumber made with this technique. Now, if you want to use this in sushi, just use it as is, or if you want to slice it up into strings or a julienne, then you just put it on a cutting board and just slice it up like this to make nice little sticks, or you turn it by 90 degrees to make strings. Okay, so now you know how to make this simple katsuramuki cut. All right, so there we go. Now you know how to make the katsuramuki cut the easy way. I hope this is useful to you and I hope you use it in your sushi recipes or whatever you need katsuramuki cut for. And I hope it works out for you. Now, uh, while I'm still on the subject of katsuramuki, I want to show you this device. This is a gadget made in Japan. It's basically made to do the same thing as what I showed you. Just it creates a very thin and consistent sheet of katsuramuki out of nearly anything really. If you put it in there, it will do it. Now, the only thing is it's kind of expensive, but it is easy to use. All you do is just load the vegetable in bring the blade up to the vegetable and then you turn it and out comes katsuramuki. It is very expensive, like I said. The simple version of this comes for about $300 and the more expensive version with three different blades that do pretty amazing things goes for $500. Now, this is way overkill for home use. For home use, just use the technique I showed you before. And if you're in a restaurant, this might be useful for you, so I'll leave the link in the description below. That's basically it. Uh, please leave a like for this video and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.